द ग्रोइंग चाइना एसेटिवनेस इन द साउथ चाइना सी हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड डिस्कस अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीजनल ग्रुपिंग दैट इज एशियान विच स्टैंड फॉर एसोसिएशन ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशियन नेशन टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स ओरिजिन एशियन वॉज फॉर्म इन 1967 थ्रू द बैंकॉक डिक्लेशन इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एशियन डिक्लेशन द मोटो ऑफ एशियान इज वन विजन वन कम्युनिटी वन आइडेंटिटी The founding members of ASEAN were Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore and Thailand. And later as the time changes end of Vietnam war in 1975, end of Cold War in 1991, few more members became part of ASEAN which were Brunei in 1985, then Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam and Myanmar which increased the membership to the 10. Now friends when we are discussing any regional grouping it is important for us to know what are the basic objective of any regional grouping so the basic objective of the regional grouping is to promote cooperation between the neighboring countries so that they can tackle their common set of challenges like terrorism unemployment poverty and they can move toward the common set of development goal like economic growth at the same time they can foster peace and stability in the region and these are similar objective of the asean now why asean group is important friends if you talk about asean as a whole it is the third largest labor force in the world after china and india so they have lot of economic potential as we have seen in the last few years asian countries have grown a very at a very high rate also asian as a whole is the fifth largest trading block in the world so you can say asian is a power house also asian has lot of human resource which are below 30 so they have demographic dividend friends asian export in the world have increased from only 2% in 1967 through around 7% in 2016 which means asean have grown a lot in the last few decades also asean as a whole has lot of importance as a security architecture in the indo pacific region than than the any individual countries of asia the next dimensions of my discussion would be india and asean So talking about India and ASEAN ASEAN is our foreign policy objective that is to achieve act east policy and neighborhood first also with ASEAN we have a multi dimensional relationship which is economic political security historical and cultural coming to economic significance our relationship with ASEAN is based on three Cs that is connectivity culture commerce with asean we have a fitted agreement that increase the trade between the two blocks that is india and asean and asean is the fourth largest trading partner of the india now coming to security security is very important dimension of our relationship as asean is the future market of the growing indian defense industry as we are aiming to increase our defense exports definitely asean will be the best market for that also in the indo pacific region we have a common set of challenge that is china aggression and cooperation between india and asean will play a very important role in tackling the growing assertiveness of the china now coming to political yes both asean and india have a common vision for the world that is to believe in international rules and regulation also multilateralism and we have a common set of vision for the international organizations now coming to historical relationship friends from the historical times our south in a state have always maintained good relationship with the asean states and 
our trade has always been flourished between the indian state and the south east asian countries and the culture from the india have gone from here to the asian countries as buddhism hinduism has flourished from here to these countries and our north eastern state have much in common with the asian countries what are the challenges for the asean the first and foremost is the growing china assertiveness in the south china sea and asean countries have not been able to give a unified response to the growing china problem the second is the income inequality in the asean is growing at a very fast rate like singapore has the highest per capita gdp at the same time laos has the lowest per capita gdp now talking about the way forward definitely asean will play a very important role in the future indo pacific region also with growing india asean partnership we also have to improve our competitiveness of the defense products that we are producing also our exports so that we can make the best use of fta that is free trade agreement with the asean and we have to increase our maritime cooperation with the asean countries and these are some way forward and i hope in the future definitely india and asean will have a great relationship thank you for watching it